So these are the letterbox reviews. Well, I don't have letterboxed only because I really want to get it, but I'm just so scared of being in such close proximity to mean comments. Okay, we've got a 4.5 star review from Kate. I never thought I would find an evangelical youth pastor hot, but I do. Aw, Lewis. <laughs> that make you feel good? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's gotta be, that's confusing, but that's nice. <laughs> That's kind of good. <laughs> Lewis Pullman and Eliza Scanlon walked onto that set and said they're going to deliver outstanding performances and insane chemistry while, while looking sexy. And that is exactly what they did. <laughs> That's, well, does that make you feel? I mean, it makes me feel, well, they, they just basically outlined what we did, right? Yeah, <laughs> just step by step. Yeah, step by step. Call me by your name for Daughters of Cain. Okay, that's in reference to Ethel Kane. Yes, right. Who tweeted about this movie? Yeah, I I saw. Yeah. I saw, yeah, Laurel was super excited about that. That is really cool. She's yeah. rad. She's a rad musician. <laughs> uh, on topic, mm -hmm. James. Jem Starling would love Ethel Kane. I would love to see Jem Starling Spotify. Yeah. At the end of the film. Yeah, right, yeah. I want to see beginning and end, the transition. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What would be on a Spotify at the beginning? I'm not quite sure. I know Maybe the at the end, up. like, at the end, like, ACDC Highway to Hell or something? <laughs> yeah. Just one song in the... Just in one the, song in the whole play. <laughs> She's still figuring it out. Yeah. Um, Okay, four star review from Dio. Eliza Scanlon is such a star. I need her to be in everything. Agreed. Dio, I agree. I agree. Okay. I, would love, I would love a job. <laughs> <laughs> all right, from Sabine. The next man I see is getting, in all capitals, decked. What does that mean? Decked is a, a way of saying punched or hit or knocked out, clothesline, oh, wow. what have you. Yeah. Okay. That's a good sign. I mean, I think that it's good to have these kind of visceral reactions right there. Yeah, totally. Yeah, I know I know that when we saw the movie at Sundance and my character gets punched. Oh, the yeah. Um, they just cheered. Yeah. yeah. And I know that I'm, I'm separate from Owen, obviously, as a person, but for some reason it still hurt my feelings. <laughs> Lewis walked out. Yeah, I walked it out of that moment. A four-star review from Jacob Spruce. A really solid film, exclamation mark. It's crazy that this is a debut feature because it's so tight and patient. There's not one wasted minute here and the performances are absolutely shine through thanks to the script and direction. Couldn't agree with that more, that's... Yeah, it's such a memorable script. I still remember reading it for the first time and, and thinking, gosh, not many films are written like this. Not many films are this tight. Yeah, um, even like the stage uh, descriptions are like they were so bare bones. Yeah, which is exciting because you're also, you're like okay, anything can happen in between this line and that line. Achieving that simplicity is so it takes in a script that takes years. It takes so long to get there. Yeah, I think one of Laurel's many strengths is she's not afraid. Uh, to kill her darlings, you know, she's not at all precious or protective about losing parts of the mm -hmm. script. She actually was like eager to do that. Four star review from Katie. Religious guilt in film seriously hits so hard every single time. Thank you, Laurel Parmet. Also, Lewis Pullman entering the sexy men of God cinematic universe, despite Owen being a loser. I'm never coming back from this one. I'm really glad we ordered this so that you got to read that one. That was a that was painful to read, but I appreciate it, Katie. Um, I'm, what was the last line? I'm never coming back from this one. That's a great review right there. Yeah. The movie changed you so that you're never coming back from the way that you were prior to watching the movie. That's kind of all you can ask for right there. How do you feel about entering the Sexy Man of God cinematic universe, despite- I need to look into who else is a part of this uh, organization. Let's see if it's legitimate first. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I just want to make sure that I'm not getting into a cult here. He's a very nice, he's very sweet. I felt like I had personally stepped into Jem's shoes throughout the whole movie, and I thought this story, which is unfortunately 
all caps, three O's, so common, was totally beautiful and non-judgmentally. The chemistry between the main characters was off the charts, and I'm so excited to see what Eliza Scanlon does next. Not necessarily Lewis, he <laughs> I'm less curious about. Yeah, um, the last part was weird. Uh, <laughs> No, um, that's a nice one. That's a good one. I didn't mean to um, butcher it there, Hannah, your words at the end. Non-judgmentally being the, yeah. there, I think that's what Laurel was aiming for, you know? Mm. And also it's, I'm glad that she felt what Jem was feeling because, well, I mean, I don't know if Laurel gave, well, she made it so immediate um, and visceral for the audience. So I'm glad that translated because she, you know, she made very specific choices in the way she filmed it to get that effect. Putting, so. putting the audience in Jem's shoes was her goal. That's yeah. why you don't see any scenes in the movie that Jem wouldn't have witnessed. Yeah. It was just so cool to have some pivotal moments happening in the periphery of the frame and in the periphery of moments, you know? And also it means that you just, I mean, writing that, Laurel must have had to get into Jem's head so much. Yeah. Laurel could have played Jem. I would love to see a remake of that, just out of curiosity. <laughs> 4.5 star review from Tess. Spare, intimate and powerful, Eliza Scanlon plays Jem with a sort of impenetrable, quiet pain that lingers throughout the entire film and after. Wow. That's very beautiful. Impenetrable, Perfect. quiet pain. She's trying to hide it or something, or she's trying to bury the bury yeah. the she feels. Yeah. One of your many talents, being able to like not play the emotion, but it's like right behind whatever you're doing or feeling is always like right behind and it's uh, bubbling. Oh, thanks. That's yeah. my five star review for you right there. Thanks, Lewis. We should write that one down so I can say yeah. it again. I'll put that on my letterbox right now. <laughs> yeah.